Hello, my name is Ewan and today I'll be showing you the animation combiner utility for resource pack utilities. So let's start by going to the utility and here it is, animation combiner. This utility is a tool that you can use to combine separate textures into an animated Minecraft texture spreadsheet. So these textures here, as you can see, they're all the same size and they are the textures to the fire animation. If I want to combine these into a texture spreadsheet, what I can do is I can input folder here, select folder, let's select this fire texture folder. I will leave the format vertical and delay one and interpolation off for now, and we can click combine. And there we go, it loaded 16 by 16 as the size because that's the, that's the uh, width and height of the first texture in the folder, and then it's combined them. You can see a preview animation here, and we can click export animation. We can just do it to the same folder, save, and we've got our animation. Here is our animation that was created. You can see it's now stacked it all vertically on top of each other. And it's also made us the MC meta files in here. We didn't choose any of the settings for it, so it's just blank at the moment, but you need this in your pack if you want the texture to actually animate. So let's go back to the animation combiner. Let's reselect the folder. And this time I'm gonna do horizontal combine. The preview is the same because the animation hasn't actually changed. The frames are the same. The only difference is now instead of the animation strip being vertical, it's going to be horizontal. You'll notice that it skipped animation.png. That means it skipped this texture just because it doesn't match the size. So it's only done these ones because those are the ones which are the correct size. This one's too big, so it skipped it. So now let's export that one. Save. Yes, let's replace the old one, and then you'll notice we now have a horizontal one instead. And the MC Meta file has been updated with a width, because this is required if you want to use a horizontal spreadsheet. And this time I'm going to set it back to vertical, but I'm going to give it a delay of uh, 20. And let's turn on interpolation and combine. You'll see now that the animation is both slower and it has the interpolation enabled, which is where it fades to the next frame. If we go back to the folder. I need to save it first, let's export it, save, replace, yep. There we go, so we've got the animation, which is exactly the same. The only changes now are in the MC Meta file. So you notice the frame time is now 20 and the interpolation is enabled. So that was the animation combiner for resource pack utilities. Thank you.